This is Tech One, episode, episode 100, 100 Troubleshooting, troubleshooting tips. tips. Hi, I'm Michael Plasma. I'm Mike Dovin. And I'm Reed Dame. And in this, our final episode, we're going to give you some troubleshooting tips so you can solve some of the problems on your own. Okay, so the first one is probably the easiest. Go to Google.com and search whatever your issue is. Especially easy if you have like the error number, some of those cryptic errors Windows likes to give you, or something like that. <laughs> no calling out from the studio audience. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's about like works about 80 or 90 percent of the time. Someone else has had a problem that you've had, and they post it on Google. I think every time I've tried, I found something on the issue. Usually Google or Yahoo Answers has stuff. You can find it on anybody. Blogs. Yeah, and especially what you said, where you type in the the error message exactly, um, that really helps because then you know Google narrows right down at it. Um, so, I guess the second tip I'm going to go a little out of order here is uh, so that if when you do find a solution, post it to the web so that way other people have that problem when they Google, they'll find your site or your post on Yahoo Answers or something like that. And or even Twitter. yeah, you'll like give. Usually, when I have a problem, I usually tweet about it. Yeah, and then way someone else can benefit from Googling. Uh, what did I do to make this happen? Uh, that really helps narrow down the problem a lot. So if you know that when you installed Windows 7, you had no sound, you can search Windows 7, your laptop model number, and then no sound. And in my case, and like, then you got nothing for it. But <laughs> right. Yeah, so just uh, if you took an action that probably resulted in the problem, you could Google that too. Yeah. yeah. Ask when something similar like this happened, like you've gotten a similar error message or a similar procedure or what happened when you had this problem. Like uh, one time I got a kernel panic on my MacBook. It uh, scared me and I didn't know what exactly caused it. I think it was some software I installed and I think it was right after I installed a piece of software or a new piece of software. So I Googled that piece of software's name and kernel panic and it came the message and it told me what I had to do. And ask if you've ever read anything like that before. Like, um, you know, do you have experience when something doesn't have any sound? Like, if something doesn't have any sound, first thing you want to check is each of the different volume areas, which is confusing because they're um, different volume areas. Like on my desktop, the speakers themselves have a volume switch. So you might make sure that they're plugged in and on, and the volume switch on there is on and turned up. And then the computer itself has a, um, a volume switch. Um, laptops will have like FN and then like a certain key to maximize or lower the volume. Um, or on laptops, they'll have, or I'm sorry, not laptops, on uh, desktops and laptops, the operating system will have a volume level. And then sometimes the application itself has another volume level. So it's another thing that you have to check. Uh, you can try it again and try it slightly differently. So let's say you're trying to view a web page and it's not loading. You could try it in a different browser. Also, you could just try something on a different computer. Uh, see, and then that can help narrow down the difference between the computers and what exactly is causing the problem. Yeah, like for me, if I have something going on with my Windows machine, like website won't load, or if a certain program's not working, I try it on my Mac. Another thing you can do is restart your computer. Restarting the computer kind of resets it, kind of puts it back into its place um, a little faster usually, kind of resets. Yeah. That's actually, that should actually be one of our like second things that we talked about because rebooting, um, a lot of times that will just like sort of fix the problem. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Have a problem, restart your computer. Rebooting right. will clear out the RAM of the device. And rebooting isn't just for computers. If your internet's not working, turn off your router, your modem. And just rebooting it will sometimes solve the problem. Something in general that I like to do when I get a new program is sort of explore around it. Like when I get, like I'm trying out the new version of um, Office 2010 Technical Preview, and I just click around in the different menus and see 
you know, what's the new functions that are available, where things are located, and I may spend like an hour or two going through the program, which will pay off in the future if I ever have an issue with that program. Um, you know, I sort of do it out of hobby and stuff like the exploring, so it's not like a total time sink, but it's, you know, it's good to, to look around a program before you have tr trouble, and that way you build experience with it. Uh. A more specific thing is determining if it's a hardware or software issue. This might be for something like sound, if you can't hear any sound. It's if your speakers are broken or if something's wrong with the software on your computer. And uh, just determining if it's a hardware or software issue is usually the basic step to see uh, what's causing the problem. Right, like one time um, my tablet wasn't turning on because I had dropped it. so. Like when I pushed the button, the power button, the fan totally went up to full speed and then nothing else happened and some icons flashed. So um, we, you know, I looked around on uh, Google, like searched that type of error message. Didn't really get much about it because I guess um, people hadn't posted that they dropped their laptop and it broke in that way. Uh, and then, but I knew it was a hardware issue because I had, I knew that I had done something, I had dropped it and um, that was my fault, so I knew that could have been a hard. I knew that was probably a hardware issue, and because it wasn't turning on at all, another sign of a hardware issue. So I had to swap the motherboard for it to work, and now it works. So that way, that's how I was able to determine that it was a hardware problem and swap the motherboard. Yeah, and you might also want to check the official support pages. A lot of, especially with hardware, they have really good ones. I know Apple has a good one. Dell has. A Right. Um, other pieces of the hardware. Depends on the company on how much they actually work on it. I know HP has a pretty good one. But right. um, their official support, if you can get support from the people who make the hardware or software, no matter what it is, um, and they probably know best on how to fix it. Or a specific tip is if you have a piece of hardware that's not working properly, then you have to install what's known as a driver for that. So you go to the manufacturer's website and you enter in the model number and then you should be able to find a download that you can use, install that program and then connect the device. And that's something you have to do for like printers or scanners. Um, a lot of times drivers go out of date and you need to update them, which is actually the issue I have with my kernel having, was a piece of software I had, not a driver, but a piece of software that I used to record an audio podcast. For some reason, all of a sudden, the newest version of OS X that came out um, didn't work well with the piece of software I used. Kernel panic, so I reinstalled OS 10, even though I probably didn't have to. I could have just avoided that piece of software and updated it. But sometimes there are issues when they, because like if the operating system is independent from the piece of software or hardware, then you might want to update. Sometimes updates don't play well together and they cause problems. Yep. All right, so that's the, the end of our troubleshooting tips section of the episode. And now, since this is our last episode, we're going to have a look back. We're joined now by JD Dorfman. Hey. He was in episodes uh, about 9 through 20, um, and he's going to be joining us as we look back. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down the line and we're going to talk about our favorite episodes. We did this in 25, but now that we've finished all 100 episodes, let's uh, I guess go through it again. What did I say during the look back that I said was my favorite? Do you guys remember? No, I need to. GPS, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my favorite was GPS. Uh, road trip because it was fun. Because um, it was Jordan driving, Plaz uh, talking. I was filming with our homemade steady cam in the back of a minivan. That was lots of fun. We went to Micro Center and shopping. I remember yeah. the burnt kid. Uh, like, <laughs> that's probably the end of the thing. <laughs> what? Reed, we're filming. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reed gets out of the line sometimes. We just gotta clap and get him back in. Bad Reed. Bad. My favorite episode, I think I'd have to agree, is that 65, the, uh, the GPS shoot. I, I think I like the, the Mod 5 episodes, the, um, the ones where we tried to do something special and um, you know, get Let's out of the studio. Let's do a non-Mod 5 episode, since I have a feeling everyone else is going to pick a Mod 5, except for oh no. JD picked a Mod 8. For some reason, we did a special episode in 16. What were we doing oh, was 15? 15. 15. That was, uh, was 15, you're right. It was a Mod 5, yeah. It's been 100 episodes. I don't remember them all anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
we'll have a look back video where we're gonna go through each of the episodes. Um, and I actually, I don't know, I was putting the look back video together and I sort of remembered each episode as we did it. Yeah. I still can't believe we did episode 65 this year. Yeah, we, now we're at 100. We really sped up so after, like, after 60. Wow. I mean, last shoot we did 11 episodes. It was not this efficient when I worked here. No, yeah. it was not. <laughs> a lot of screwing around back then. Yeah, and we work. I, I contributed to that a lot. And guessing how we fix things and put it together and Yeah, we've gotten a lot episodes later. We've gotten efficient. Yep. Alright, uh, uh, yeah, we could <laughs> do another hundred. We'd be speeding through. Yeah. Uh Reed, what about you? Uh I like cell phone internet a lot. Episode uh, sixty. Yeah. I didn't attend the uh you're tagging photos episode. That one sounds pretty good. That was Cell phone in it was fun. Also, that was just uh, in class. Yeah. Pandora was pretty fun. That was a pretty chill episode. <laughs> <That> <laughs> yeah, was like, it was. That was a no outline episode, to be honest. Yeah. That was, Reed's like, I want to do a Pandora episode. So him and Justin hopped in front of the end of a shoot. I was it's tired. Like, oh. <laughs> we just hopped. Okay. Those two hopped in front of the camera. We ran the camera. And we, it was a pretty good episode for no outline. Just yeah, I like the no around. outline shoots. The last, um, the last episode is usually the last episode of the day is oh. usually the uh, the worst either quality. Either drag forever. Well, it, no, either drag forever like or episode eight. Or we we forget about quality standards and we just kind of do it. Oh, can we do our least favorite episode? Episode eight, TI eighty three. <laughs> that was the end of the day, and it was only our second shoot we did this, so we were still pretty new at what we we're doing, and I had to repeat. Same line, you take the calculator, you plug it into your computer, and some other stuff I forget now. I think I'm mental block most of that out. You kept um, messing that one up, yeah. yeah. No, Plaz just wouldn't let me do it right. And that's that's another reason why we've gotten to do more in one day is that we, we mess up less and uh, we're able to better. Yeah, run through it. Uh, I wasn't there for the TI episode, however, eBay episode, the final finish one of that was like 40 minutes. And we must have spent at least an hour trying to get that right without revealing like personal information on your eBay account. So <laughs> that episode was kind of a pain. Yeah, that that one that one wasn't any fun to edit. Um, I can imagine. This look back episode too from the premiere just kept crashing on me, and it was not a good thing to put together. Um, the video, which we'll show at the end. Judy, how about you? My favorite episode, as previously mentioned is episode 15, Safely Destroying Data, is that what it was called? Yeah, uh, Destroying okay, Stuff. It's called Destroying, destroying Stuff. Destroying Stuff, stuff. yeah. Everything that was fun, we just on. spent like four hours shooting that one, just smashing computers, and, like an and, and Ed did that yeah. spinny thing with the hard drive disks. Oh, that's right, and we drilled the hard drive. Right, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, and uh, Klaas gave me Dovin's old hard drive, which we destroyed, which I no yeah. longer have for this episode. Yeah, no, Look I was back. gonna say we should have brought that. I got rid of it like a couple of years ago, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a fun one to do. Um, yes. Odd fun. There'll be clips of that, uh, I, I'm sure. Although, um, I don't know if we still have this clip, but there was a promo that we made. Oh, yeah, we have I kept that. I kept screwing up the line, plus just wanted everything in one tape, so we shot the, that over and over. Is that over. the Mac PC Linux? The Mac PC yes, Linux Mac ad. PC Linux. Yeah. We oh have my that. God. That's we better show a clip of that. That's at some point. That was the most popular Can we thing show a clip of that? YouTube. Yeah, we'll put a we'll clip in the uh, the episode. I'm a Mac. I'm a PC. And I'm Linux. It'll change your Lost? Life. Watch Tekker911 at 911.tekker.net. That was oh just my. horrible on my part. And that was another so thing sorry. we did at the end of the shoot one day. The like, oh, we got to make a promo. Uh, and I wrote it and all. I knew what I was doing and all with the writing, but so long ago, it was so yeah, cheesy. So many things look good on paper, not so well in execution. <laughs> no, the, yeah, you're right. The folks on YouTube hated that. Oh, that yeah, they, they thought Plaz was gay or something. They're like, are you calling PC gay? And you're like, Arr. And I was in the. And I was like, wow. And the guy who uses the Mac didn't even use a Mac. Well, I wasn't a Mac guy back then. Dovin, yeah, so I, in I middle school. I thought you were system. Linux. I was on Linux back then, yeah. Yeah, you were the I, Linux guy. Because first I was very pro Windows. And I jumped to Pro Linux for like a few months until I realized how bad it was. Yeah, see episode, I actually see had to six get or 14 for that one. JD and I did that. Yeah, that was back in the day. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then I then I started to realize 
Well, I started to realize what I wanted to do with my life, which was film production or video production, which we're going to get to later. Oh, I that's realized, so fun. I realized Mac's the way to go for that, so I started to hop on the Mac bandwagon and finally. Yeah, Mac is usually good for one. artsy stuff like video editing. Yeah. Just got one this October. So Dovin was actually a big Mac hater in middle school. I don't and recall any of this. Uh, we'll have a uh, his his personal logo. Actually, he had an an Apple logo with a slash through it. It's actually going to be in our our look back video. I think I I still have. I remember making that in paint. I still have my email from uh, middle school. So I went to the end of my email. Went to the first email from Dovin, and he had this anti Mac logo on I can't there. Yeah. Gmail accounts too much to do that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no and now time. you'll see right here. <laughs> and even on my Dell, I have an Apple logo and an Ubuntu sticker, to be fair. Which you really pointed out. I think we did behind the scenes. Yeah, he, well, like, pointed that Ubuntu out special. And I pulled it off out of disgust with Ubuntu. Then I put a new one on because they sent me a bunch. Yeah. I saw the whole bunch. They got and then there stuff. was uh, editing the quick tip segment. Oh, yeah. Until I graduated high school <laughs> and I had to leave the show. Right. Uh, to this date, Dovin thinks that I yeah, swore yeah, a right. different word than what I actually swore <laughs> during one of the shoots. No, no, keep this part in. It was the S word, not the F bomb, okay? We're cutting this. Uh, Plus, uh, to save that clip for the look back. Yeah, yeah we I didn't. We didn't do a blooper reel. We, could, we really could have done a blooper reel. All, all fo we, focused on me and Dovin. I didn't. No, mostly on me. Yeah. All of us, we've all made our little slips. I didn't do a yeah. blooper reel because it would have been way too much time. It would I didn't. Be easier if we remembered to set aside bloopers as we went, but um, yeah, that's how we did. From now on, I'm gonna know to sort of do the bloopers as you're editing because you can't go back yeah. and because we have we have, must have like hundreds of hours of footage and uh, you know I even in the summer I have better things to do with my life <laughs> than to go through hours of old footage. Old yeah. Uh, in Plaza's house. Yep. With yeah. no air conditioning in the summer. Oh, and it, isn't it nice being somewhere with central air uh. in the summer? Oh, boy. Yeah. And with these hot lights on us, you can't see them, but mm -hmm. they are super hot. They make the room go up probably 10 degrees. So let's actually thank our supporters now. So um, we're actually right now at Howard High School's um, room 126, where we're going to shoot the final show. Uh, and we'd like to thank the school district for letting us use their room, and also their lights. Uh, Monica Lawler, the um, who directs. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Directs uh, Channel Eleven, the public access channel, and she has graciously allowed us to borrow the lights, and also she airs the um, the episodes and the, the local public access channel in Havertown, Pennsylvania, Channel Eleven on Comcast, and Channel Forty on FiOS. Yeah, so we're really grateful for her to get um, that public exposure because I've had people sort of come up to me as I've gone around Havertown and say, aren't you the on that Tucker oh, yeah. show? Yeah, yeah it was just like I a, get that a lot at too. a soccer game, like, hey, I saw you on TV. And it's pretty cool. I get it at church all the time. Like, oh, uh, you guys are teaching me how to uh, set up Vista or something. It was so crazy. Everyone loves no, crazy, the show. Crazy Dovin is when I'm working at orientation this summer and Plaza's girlfriend comes up to me and says, I think you know my boyfriend, and I'm, I'm like sweating bullets, like, is this either going to be a good story or a bad story? <laughs> and, and it turned out it was just Plaz. Yeah. Just Plaz. Yes. You don't worry about him. So we're really grateful to uh, Monica Lawler and the school district for um, support. Plaz's family support. for letting us use his living room. Yeah, for, well, let's school district first. So the school district for um, s supporting uh, the show by airing it and um, letting us borrow the lights. Um, now it's it's not it's, when I say support, I don't mean like that they endorse all of the positions that we take or anything like that. They just um, allow us to use their equipment and air the stuff on their show. But they certainly don't, you know, endorse every specific recommendation that we've made. Next on my family, yeah. Right. Um, Buys his family for letting us take over his living room. I wish I knew how many shoots we had. I tried to go back to the project path and count, but I lost track because there were some shoots that ended up falling through and. Then it's two plus two, Dovin. Yeah, it's a little more complicated. But yeah. The project path, I laughed. I was reading some comments, looking at some old topics we never did. Like, um, Reed always wanted to redo the Ubuntu episode, which we never did. Oops. Um, 
<laughs> but I was looking through topics and conversations we had a year ago. So fun. I was doing that last night. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think we've ever really redone an episode. No. no. And technology just moves so fast that yeah, we, we couldn't, kind of we would have to redo everything because you look at the old programs and yeah. I mean, the first episode was Firefox. And Actually, that one we Firefox didn't we three. Yeah, we redid that, we we redid that, that one. one. Firefox three. Only one. one. Yeah. 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 It was episode one and fifty eight. Only time we doubled the topic. Right. And actually, if we would have done this a little bit longer, we would do uh, Windows 7 and Office 2010. Um, Snow Leopard? Well, Leopard. yeah. Well, we I'm waiting for that. Yeah. I'm waiting for Snow Leopard. It's so awesome. Yeah, so we, we do those. To those um, we, we're not doing them because we try not to do the show. We're trying not to do beta, times. and um, those programs aren't beta right now. Yeah, so. and when we go through our whole history that I wrote, you'll see kind of how we started planning and then our goals. Nothing ever goes according to a plan. Mm, Nothing. Never. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, uh, Reed actually let us use his HD camera, which was so cool. An episode, I think, like 38 up until it broke in like 75. Yeah, I think the first shoot was that was Hereford Township Day, and yeah, brought yeah, that right. over. And then uh, <laughs> that was pretty good upgrading to an HD. And then that actually broke. And then Pleasant <laughs> yeah. got HD camera. Same got one. the same one, actually. My camera go. Cat. Yeah. Copycat. It's over there. Actually, that's yeah. something I'd like to talk about a little bit. Yeah. The copycatting off of certain yeah. people such as Plaid. I'm guilty of that. I, I am too. <laughs> I'll admit well, it. The first thing I think was the Nokia no, 800. No, it goes further back. Further than that? What? We got... Well, not exact, but... He oh, remember when they had the Dells? The yeah, Dells? the Dells. That's where it started. And I had the Gateway, and they, they were laughing the at me because I was the only one without a Dell. Ha, got a I Dell have a Dell now. Ha. Yeah, Plaid's got a Dell laptop. I think one Christmas, and the next year I got a Dell laptop. Same model? No. His was old by then. His was yesterday's news. Yeah. It was, um... Now my old Dell is now a media center. Eighth grade, so I got it, yeah. Yeah, I got it in ninth grade. And then we went to N800. Yeah, I, I got the N800. Then yeah. Plaid's got it. And I actually thought he was, like, using mine, because I walked up to him at school, and I was like, wow, is that mine? And he's like, no, I have the same thing. I'd never seen anyone with and then, and then um, we got that. Oh, Creative's M Vision M. Oh, yeah. that too. I broke mine, but we will play through my nice new iPod Touch, which I love. I've actually broken out of the trend of copying class, for the most part. Actually, except, <laughs> except for high definition camera. And Flickr Pro. Flickr <laughs> Pro is because I take too many pictures. Yeah, actually, uh, we've all sold our N800s. Yeah. Um, so that's sort of the testament of the, the Nokia use, platform. I use my N800 money to buy my iPod. All right, so now I think we're going to do the, um, the history. Are you ready to do the history? Not bum, at all. Bum, bum, still bum. writing. I'm still back. I forgot to put my phone right. in. Um, so while I do that, you guys just talk about something. <laughs> all right, one thing I'd like to discuss is Ooh. this little device here. If you don't have one, you will fail at life. Basically, this little USB device enabled us to film in the entire Techno 911 without exploding. It's magic. It's magic. Yeah. You, you just look at it, and you just calm down. Your Unless heart, you're like me. Seriously, though, I think it's the only time we've ever put this on the show. I don't think we've ever put this in, but it always sat in our audio box. And then you cry. Yeah. You know what? Don't be like We can show our audio box. The newest. Yeah, it has a lot more junk in it since, uh, yeah, can we take that back off, though? Yeah. All right. Uh, I said, you know what? 100th episode, we're plugging in the little lamp thing that's been sitting around. Yeah, basically, if you don't have one of these, I mean, this just makes my heart, <laughs> and this it just makes everything nicer. This this device is the heart and soul of Tech 911, and make sure you have one. You can buy them online; they're really cheap. <laughs> I How like the cheap fans. are they? Are they as cheap as Dovin? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Right. I'm well, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, All right. So we're gonna do a look back at our history, which Dovin has prepared for us. Okay. So I wrote kind of everything I can remember, at least, of what has happened in the past. I guess almost three and a half years. I can't even remember exactly. I guess three, three and a half. It was my senior year, so it was like two and a half. Yeah, well, yeah. I think it was three. It was about two and a half to three. Something. Probably three. Yeah. yeah. Probably would have, it would have been three full if we kept going until December. I think. Yeah. But anyway, so here's how it started. So it really started in August 2006. Plaza um, and I found a little website called Techernotnet, a social help network. Um, never really took off, but it was fun. 
from the start. I still actually have a business card for it. Most yeah. of them. They never gave many out. Um, we talked about it in the Learning to Program episode. It was sort of my project to learn PHP coding. And um, since then, I've gone on to do projects that are much more successful. But I was only able to do that because I, I learned PHP and I really learned it through making Tekker. You can read the book, but then you know it goes in one ear and out the other. But really, you have to practice it and put code together because you want to put it th get together, not because you're just putting code snippets together. Yeah. You know, you have to have a reason. Tekker was a bit of code snippets, I believe. We took the um, yeah took the login script from a book. Right. It, it was you know putting code snippets together, but I think that's how you learn is you. But because I have I have like problems that I I don't you know um, think I could solve or that aren't solved in the book and then I figured out how to solve them. Yeah. So Tucker started it all and in the beginning we were when we found it the idea was I thought one day I was like what if we had a network where you can log in and post your computer problems and have people give you solutions and it just so happened that Dave Plaza was going to come over I don't know if I was going to have to fix my computer or something. No. Right. I used to have a move a lot to fix my computers <laughs> before I got good at fixing them. Um, so he was coming over, and I thought of the idea. So I told him about it, and we thought, eh, it might be something cool we could try. So we went through a whole bunch of names. We made a huge list of different names we got. We finally picked Tacker, and then we thought, well, it would also be cool if we did kind of like the Dignation type style podcast about the site, the yeah. Which never took off because the site never really took off. I think most of the questions on there are things I posted to populate it back in the day. I would just like post random things like um, what does um, no disk and drive mean or something. I put a bunch of stupid questions up just to. Yeah. Yeah. And then we even made the geekiness rating as one of our last features. And my geekiness rating was like two or something because I posted too many questions and I didn't answer enough. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, we. Okay, so then we kept moving on. And we, but we kept the idea of the podcast, and we thought, okay, so we'll call it Tech Well, it was Tech 911 for the Te Like, questions. where we take questions off the website yeah. and answer them in more and detail. We thought, hey, we could do Tech 411, which is more this form Information, of yeah. Information, and we wanted to make it kind of timeless, so you could look back at it, and it would still be good information. So that was how we started. So the name Tech stuck. We kept Tech 911, but we used the Tech 411 format. I'm not sure how we did that. Right. <laughs> that was always a mystery to me. But so we started, I think it was December 2006 was our very, very first shoot. Uh, we have a little, we made a little teaser trailer. It, the show launched, I believe, in January of seven, but we already recorded in, um, in December, that month or last year already. And we launched because it had edits. So our first setup was very, very basic. It was very inexpensive tripod, which oh, we still use. We're still using that, yeah. Yeah, we never upgraded our tripod. Might be the only piece of equipment we never changed. Yeah. Except for the TV behind us. Yeah, that didn't change. Well, for now, yeah. sort of. I guess we can you call it. Yeah. I guess it's kind of an upgrade. Um, yep. So, yeah, so there's that. The tripod. Plans this very old DV camera. Tape based. Um, yeah, tape camera. We still used tape back then. <laughs> um, his old computer, which you see me clean in episode five. That's actually that was we. Uh, we loved that thing. That up. we actually started editing, and uh, we talked about on twenty five, in the look back. Um, that that that's where well, that's what they were cleaning off in uh, in five, cleaning out your computer, and that we were still editing on that. I think up until twenty five when we showed it. Um, and then we reformatted it, and then now it's running the um, the TV behind my the yeah. the you know the computer. It was our second computer for the last part of the series. Or Maybe for a lot yeah. Of series. Yeah, like thirty through ninety nine. We stopped having the two laptops on set, which was usually my Dell and Plaza's Dell, unless somebody brought their own in. Right. But so that's what we ran the show off. Thirty through ninety nine. Oh, and we took house lights from around Plaza's house and kind of pointed out uh, not this technique, uh, just trying to light and not very well. I call that kind of the dark ages because looking at some of the old video, you can barely see 
The first three, I think we didn't use any lights at all. Like we didn't think to use lights. And then I think like um, about four through 25, we still use those old, the uh, house lights, which are yeah. okay. But now, as you said, we have the, uh, the lights from um, Monica Lawler that we borrowed yeah. from the school. So after that, um, JD joined in episode nine. Hey. So yep. that's when JD joined in. And the next upgrade we got was our audio system, which most I of, which we, that. Most of yeah. which we still use. Um, Plaza and I split the cost. Um, we bought, ooh, the hand mic. Like, yeah. Uh, the two mics that um, I guess JD has one now and um, Plaz. I had three written in the script. Yeah. Uh, JD told me. Um, <laughs> so, and then we have what I call the world's worst mixer. Sitting is a piece of junk. Doesn't mix audio, but it does mix audio, just like to add a buzzing sound. The, this thing was a lot of our we problems. We tried like 20 different ways to try and get rid of the sound. It, but it didn't appear on the computer. It only appeared when you aired it on television. It was only television. It was only Maybe television. It was the internet then. I don't know, but I'm this play around with that. this thing's a junk. So what do we use now? So now, I uh, wish we had one. Like We're using um, yeah. Like what you'd use if you want two people to listen to the same headphones. That would be the one. That's all we use. That's why you might hear a little hard left and hard right action, because it's hard left and hard right, because that's all we can do. But it works. Yeah. Makes the audio pretty darn well. I think I found that out at uh, Radio Shack. So I was asking a guy about it, and I'm like, I need a different way to make the audio. This mixer is not working out. He's like, you can just take a headphone splitter, which they sold by a ton anyway. Yeah. So you just plug that into your microphone jack on your camera, and there you go. You got a mixer. So that worked out great. Yeah. Um, so then the next upgrade after that was, well, first we had Matt McMullen for some episode in the mid-teens. None of us remember. I think it was 17. I don't remember what episode, uh, yeah, what episode yeah. that was. JD was there. I yeah. was there. Ed was there. Oh, and Ed was starting out with us uh, in the very beginning as well. So then around episode 20, Jordan Berman joined in. Uh, joined in. And then um, JD left the, the crew and went off to college. Uh, back now. Yep. Back for the last episode, which is great. Um, and then Reed joined. Reed joined us. And brought his HD camera. Which Mooch. is great. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we did move to the HD camera off of them, but it was great. Yeah. We got a high definition show finally. Um, Big increase in video quality. Yeah, video quality, you could see us. Yeah. And you could hear us now because of the nice audio system we got. So that worked so much better. And then. Um, Ed decided to leave around like 25, uh, I think. No, it was early 30s because we, have, we shot right. the Mac episode. Right. We still there. So I remember this last one we did with him. So yeah, and then so Ed left, which was sad, but um, we had a good crew still. We shot a new intro, and in fact, if we slow down that speed up of us setting up Plaza's living room, yeah, you might see Ed, Ed because uh, we shot that first, and then we then he left. He was leaving, so right we after we shot like that, yeah. That, so we figure, okay, we'll speed it up and kind of make it look like he's not there, but we can point it out. I figure, like when I rewatch episodes, I can say, oh, there's Ed. And then the show kind of, we kind of hit our stride, I think, after Reed came, Reed, are you texting? Yes. That's texting during the show. Um, um, this is why we didn't hit 200. Yeah, well, I don't know. After, I guess, after this were like 40. After, yeah, around 40. We, really um, we, we locked down, we had the HD camera. We locked down the cast. Um, we had a far better editing system. We used Premiere and on a, like a quad core PC and then not, Movie Maker. Um, old Dell computer from 2002. Yeah. Uh, so then, old 40, we kind of hit our stride up until 60 when I tried um, Premiere CS4, which is the worst piece of software I've ever used. If you can get a Mac and use Final Cut, please. Yeah. Final Cut's great. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm it's running awesome. it. <laughs> but, um, it's awesome. Do you have yeah. Express or the Pro version? Uh, Express. Oh. Yeah. Pro is expensive. C I know, CS3, but, um, yeah, CS3 is okay, but 4 is horrible regression. Um, uh, yeah, but it was also around that time when I started Stop to put. Adobe. That's when yeah. I started to put in. Um, no CS5. Please. I was starting to do like five to seven episodes outlines every shoot. I would just spend like hours the day before typing out a ton of outlines, and then we'd always have extras that we'd carry over from shoot to shoot. I'd always put tons of outlines out there, so we got that. 
clearing really good in front of the camera, hopefully. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us what you think. <laughs> I want to check it out net. Um, so we got good at that. We got the setup down. And that would be appreciated. We got the, uh, yeah, we got the setup down well. We knew exactly where the camera goes, where the lights go. We know where everything goes. And then, yeah, CS4 did cause a bit of a slowdown for about four months. We did nothing. Right, as I was trying to, I, I just, I think we edited in the end like two episodes on CS4 and then I'm like, I'm going back to CS3 yeah, so and I haven't touched CS4 since then. Um, yeah. And, and I don't know if I'm going to try CS5. And then we had another, then we hit another disaster, Reed's camera broke. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was, that was also part of the same slowdown period, uh, this, I guess winter, sort of winter into fall. Or was 70, episode 70, we used Reed's Nikon D90, <laughs> which was um, kind of a joke. Not for good for video. For video. Not Don't good for video. DSLR is not good for video. Because um, there's no autofocus. Yeah, and it's just or audio general, jack. It's not made for it. Overheats after five minutes of HD recording. It was HD. Yeah. Wasn't very good. So I don't know. It came out okay. Yeah, it came out okay, but. It was better than the original. I realized camera, we have to, guess, uh, we'd have to find a more permanent solution. So I think it was that day, Paz and I were on the computer for like two hours. Three, so or, three two or four, or maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it was a long time. We were just surfing uh, CNET and camcorder info, and we found, um, found some cameras we looked at. We looked on eBay and Amazon. And we're not using a tripod, The like. guy came to take a camera off the tripod. Yeah, there okay. you go. Okay, so we had, and we decided on the Canon Dixia HF100. It's a great camera. Um, this is mine, actually. And I'm, mine is over there yeah, recording the show. Hi, Blaz's camera. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah, really good camera. And um, actually, big difference was once we had the plug to plug the camera in, because at one point we had to keep charging the camera um, in between episodes. And that kind of, we did, I think, double as many episodes when we could just keep going and not yeah, have to wait right. for the camera to charge. We just have to make sure we don't pull memory cards. So then, yeah, we got Blaz's camera, and that's around the time. No, it was with Reed's camera, we switched over to the splitter instead of the mixer. Mm -hmm. And then, um, not too long after, maybe one or two shoots after Todd got his, I think it was only one shoot. Yeah, last and shoot. And then I got mine, my big VHF one. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is great, because then the last 11 episodes, um, I guess 88 to 99, mm -hmm. we had two cameras. We had this one focused on the display, which is nice. Gives you a better view of what's on the TV because I've known from when I watch, it's kind of hard to see what's yeah. going on the TV. This show has come so long since, so far since I graduated. Yeah. Yeah, we really progressed. I mean, the good part was that as technology always progresses, so we just kind of picked up as we went and kind of advanced as we could. Yeah. So we got better cameras. Microphones are pretty good. They work. Yep. I mean, it's fine with me. Um, yeah, so and now we're here at episode 100. Yeah. Woo! I'm like so yeah. proud of you two for Yeah, we're the only two that have been through. Uh, yeah. We've been here for the full 100. Yeah. Uh, I guess Ed was there for the second most. Or no, Jordan. Jordan was, Jordan was there for the Jordan second most. Second. And there for know, about Jordan 60 Reed. to 75 episodes. Yeah, and Reed. Reed. Reed was there slightly longer, or no, no slightly shorter. Jordan was first. Okay. Jordan was still here when JD stayed with us. Right. He was still with us. Then Jordan came, and he left. Then we got Reed, and then McMullen was there for one episode. And no. that was before I left. Yeah, it was before you left. That was the team. Okay. Actually, we forgot. Um, Jackson Sweeney was here oh, for Jackson. one sh one shoot, except. That's right. Got him in my history. We had that. We didn't mention the. Uh, which shoot was that where the audio didn't work? So oh, we had the audio shoot. I right. think that was like 44 to 50 or something like that. Um, the ba the audio didn't work, and we had to throw the whole day out That's and right. reshoot. Was, um, and we shot that in September, and we realized it didn't work, so we came back on election day. Um, and we shot the reshot that day. Yeah. Was that when Jackson showed up? No, he was only there on the uh, the day the audio didn't work. So, so unfortunately, he never made it on air. Never made it on air, but the he was lost there. Tecker. Yeah, the lost Tecker. He episodes. was the lost member. Yeah. And we invited him, but he didn't come either. Yeah. So, yeah, 
Jackson was involved. Um, Chris Denny helped us with the land party episode, episode 10. That looked like fun. I wish I could have made that one. Yeah, that was a great one. Uh, yeah. I didn't do so well. But <laughs> Besides me not doing well, it was fun. All right, I think that wraps up the history portion. Look at what each of us is doing after this. Okay, so for me, I'm going to Kutztown University, majoring in electronic media, which is a fancy word for video production. Yeah. Good reason why I have this MacBook. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. And Jordan Berman, who is actually at orientation right now, he's already in, at college, um, which is why he couldn't make it, unfortunately. He will be going to Drexel, majoring in, I'm pretty sure it's mechanical engineering. He's bounced around a few times. If you're mechanical or electric, I never remember. Civil engineering, I think he was for some time. I don't know. Okay. One of the three. Sorry about that. <laughs> I never remember. Um, so, yeah, that's what he'll be doing. His website's BermanJL.com, I think? That's right. It's BermanJL.com and mine's Dovin.net. And, uh, ooh, also, if you want to hear more from me and Plaz, we do a weekly audio podcast, the weekly spin, the weekly spin .com. And it looks like BermanJL.com still has work to be done. Uh, El Jordo. <laughs> It's he set it up and never did much. Actually, in Spanish, that would be pronounced El Fordo, but... <coughs> yeah. We'll not get into that. All right. Um, so I don't judge. Okay, so you can find uh, more about me on theplaz.com, T-H-E-P-L-A-Z.com. Uh, links to all the different projects I do, as well as uh, Devin talked about the Weekly Spin, the weekly uh, audio news podcast. Which we actually have to record today. Yep, we record Mondays. Today. Way to be on top of things, guys. Yep, record Mondays. Um, I Mondays, unless we try and do video, and then don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we did video, video did once last last week, last week. Um, and then the I'll be going to the uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology um, next year. I'm undecided on major because all the freshmen are undecided majors, and uh, you know you can follow more about me on the plaz .com. All right, Reed. Uh, I'm Reed Dame. Next year. I'm going to be a junior at Harrisburg Senior High School, and yeah, I'm still in high school. <laughs> um, but you can check out my website at redread.com. Have a bunch of stuff up there, and uh, yeah, so I still have two years of high school to go to. Hey, I'm JD. Um, I'm currently a junior uh, fine arts major at. St. Joseph's University. I just came back from helping with freshman orientation, putting skits on for the freshmen. And that was awesome, by the way. Um, and like Devin says, video production is so fun, you know. That's what I'm majoring in, film and video. And uh, it, I don't usually update this much, but um, I have a blog on blogspot, dwarfism.blogspot.com. Um, occasionally some stuff goes up there, or you can just friend me on Facebook. I really don't judge people. <laughs> Paired a 15 minute uh, video, we're going to look back at the, the show and then... Sorry.
don't need to get a terabyte hard drive. They're like a hundred bucks. Jordan Berman. Final Cut for editing. Death to Premiere and Movie Maker. Apple Card. I hate that one too. Oh, we skipped the restorage. I hate that one too. Can we do our least favorite episode? Towns of Day. Towns of there. Yeah, that's right. That was one you were at. Except you're running the camera. Wait, how is it there? It was before I quit. No, I mean, uh. It's the tech camera you want. Yeah, it's a this is your first. I'm a first on. Ah! And today, I'm going to be playing. Fuzz! Fuzz needs to remember to end it. Oh, that's good. Four months. This is Tekken 911. Tap show 34. File with it. This is Tekken 911. Wee, oh my god. That was a four months. Wee! Alright, this is. Oh. In fast forward, please. Perfect. Ah, I had a rock. That was the only one I had in practice. I can't go. I'm a small. This is Tekken 911. Tap show 36. He's the one where he still hates Facebook. Oh, yeah. He's the guy who obsessed with Facebook. Now on HD. Now on HD.
Twitter. What were you talking about? I am seen this. Yes, I did. I watched it. So to, uh, to watch any of our prior 99 episodes or watch this episode again, you can go to our website, 911.tecker.net. Uh, you can send us your feedback mail at 911.tecker.net. Um, Hopefully someone's going to check. Yep. Checking that account. You can uh, sign up to get all the episodes on your iPod. Ooh, iPod. Um, Last time. Or any other MP3 player with our feeds. Ooh, Zoom. Yep, all the episodes are on there. Just uh, add the feed to your feed reader, and then download all the episodes. You can watch them again, or just watch them online, 911.tucker.net. So this is it. We're signing off for the last time. Yep. Thank you so much for watching all 100 episodes. And you can watch them all again if you want. Yep. Yay, I think I'm going to do that now. Yep, I'm Michael Flazar. <laughs> I'm Mike Dillon. J.D. Dorfman. I'm Amory Zayn. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Y'all come back tonight.